I'm so nervous. I'm meeting up with friends offline for the first time today. Oh well, the two I'm meeting up today are both guys. I don't have to be that nervous. No, I'm still so nervous! Come to think about it, I'm an introvert and is terrible at communicating with others. Even though we're always chatting in games, this is the first time we meet and talk in person. If it were a woman, I would be like, I it's nice to meet you. Eh? Oh yes, what's with this guy? I wouldn't be able to have a proper conversation and she would look at me like I was a creep. Oh, it's almost time to meet up. I should do some image training for the conversation. Excuse me. Let's talk about the weather first. Next. Oh, I have no other idea than to talk about the weather. Excuse me. I can hear a girl's voice from a while ago. It's as if she's talking to me. Well, there's no way that's true, so let's ignore it. Hey, don't ignore me. Huh? Finally, you looked at me. How can you ignore a cute girl like me? What? Oh, I guess I was the last one to come. What? Why are you even here? Oh, you wanted to be alone with them. Too bad, huh? Hmm? Um, um, why are you two? Why? Because it's an offline meetup today, of course. Eh? Huh? What are you surprised about? You're the one who invited us. Eh? I thought I was meeting guys, but they were actually girls. Moreover, I know them. Huh? Is this for real? I, Daichi Hira, is a team leader of an online game. There are two friends that I always play with, and they always have fights online. As a team leader, I wanted them to get along. So I planned this offline meetup even though I'm not used to doing this kind of thing. I had no idea they were girls that I knew though. Daichi, let's leave this gloomy girl alone and enjoy the offline gathering with just the two of us. The presence of this gloomy person makes the air feel bad. What? She is Yachio Kiso. She goes to the same high school as me and is one year younger than me. As you can see, she's a gal. After I saved Yachio from getting in trouble with a guy, she started speaking to me at school. To be honest, I always run away when she tries to mess with me because a cheerful gal like her is too dazzling for an introvert like me. Hey, why are you running away from me? Let's eat lunch together. W well, I need to go to the bathroom really bad. Why are you following me? To watch you in bathroom. You're a weirdo. Just kidding. I hate it when people try to make a joke out of everything, which is peculiar to extroverts. What have extroverts done to you? Anyway, don't follow me anymore. I want to eat lunch alone in a dark and gloomy place. I'm sure the food will taste better if we eat together. Let's take a picture of us eating together and post it on social media. Absolutely not! If my face is on social media, I'm sure I'll be the laughing stock of the internet. You're so paranoid. And well, this is how I usually feel at school. In games, she uses a macho character with a gangly build. And in chat rooms, I thought she was manly, but I never thought it was Yachio. Hmm, I admit that I am dark at heart though. But I think Daichi prefers me to someone like you, who is just insensitive and noisy. Isn't that right, Daichi? What? And the girl who challenged Yachio is Sayaka Akaishi. She is one year older than me and a senior at school. If Yachio is the cute one, Sayaka is the beautiful one. She is a neat and clean beauty, with a fragility that reminds me of a real young lady. As Sayaka said, she and I are pretty similar. We are both introverts and prefer quiet, dark, and gloomy places. In fact, the first time we met was at a place that is well known as the school's gloomy place. Whoa, I didn't know there was such a gloomy place and quiet place at school. I can have lunch here in peace and quiet. Oh, I see there's someone else here today. What? Oh, uh... Oh, I'm sorry for suddenly calling out to you. It's just that it's unusual to see people here. I'm Sayaka Akashi, a third year student. Uh, yes, I know who you are. You're famous. I'm sorry. I didn't know it was your place. I'll leave right away. It's not my place, so don't worry about it. If you found this place, then you must be a gloomy person like me, right? Then feel free to use it. Are you sure? Yes, because we are on the same side. 
Then, she and I began to just share that space together without having any conversation. After a while, we began to make small talk about our hobbies. The most appropriate description of my relationship with Sayaka is that of a cozy neighborhood friend. Hmm. I had no idea that such a junior and senior were members of my team. I had planned an offline gathering with the intention of getting these two to get along with each other. If he stays with a gloomy girl like you, he will become gloomy. Please turn around and leave. That's my line. A noisy person like you will only be bad influence on him. So, get out of here as soon as possible. You know, you two don't get along well in the game. But you guys don't get along in real life either. Don't you know each other by any chance? Yes, of course, because we are competitors. Well, yes, we are competitors who are after the same person. I don't know what these girls mean, but whatever it is, it seems that the reason the girls don't get along in the game is because they don't get along in real life in the first place. I had no idea that you two knew each other in real life. I never saw you two talking. Of course, I have nothing to talk about with her. If I saw her at school, I would just ignore her. It's no wonder you didn't know that we knew each other. I see. One is an extrovert, and the other is an introvert. I have to make these two get along. What a start. We had come to a family restaurant to have lunch first. I'm sitting next to him. Wait a minute. The seat next to him is mine. No, there are empty seats across. So why don't you sit there? No. Oh, okay. First come, first serve, isn't it? Shouldn't there be a fair game of rock, paper, scissors? What? I've already got the spot next to him, so there's no advantage for me to play rock, paper, scissors with you now. Besides, if a noisy person like you takes a seat next to him, he won't be able to eat in peace. So it would be better for your own safety if you would be quiet and let me sit next to him, right? Huh? Having a gloomy person like you sit next to you would spoil the delicious meal. Why don't you just give up gracefully? Hmm? If you're going to fight like that, you're not allowed to sit next to me. You two sit across from me. What? what? They really look unhappy. Can you two get along a little better? It's an offline gathering. <laughs> and I worked so hard to plan it. Daichi, I'm sorry. That's right. You went to the trouble of planning this event. You're right. We were wrong. Let's get along well, shall we? I agree. Then, let's shake hands to make up. <laughs> Both of you! I'm glad you understand. I'm so happy. Bang! Bang! Hmm. <laughs> Girls are scary. They kept competing about me after that. Daichi here! Open your mouth! This is good too, you know. I can't eat all that at once. Hey, don't interrupt, okay? I'm telling you the same thing. Hmm? They're not listening to me. I don't know if they still remember about me, because they've started fighting with each other. How can I make them get along? At times like this, I rely on my past experience. But I am an introvert who is awful at communicating with others with a few friends to begin with. So I don't know what to do at a time like this. After giving it a lot of thoughts, I... Sorry, but I'm going to the restroom. I decided to run away. Why do I have to spend time alone with such a gloomy girl? Same here. I hope Daichi will be back soon. I mean, how long are you going to hang around? Why don't you stop? Daichi is annoyed. You're the one who's following him around, aren't you? Can't you see that Daichi doesn't like it? I saw him running away from you the other day. I think you should be aware that he hates you. Uh, he doesn't dislike me. He just said he doesn't like me because I'm an introvert. How is that different from not liking me? How is that different from not liking me? Hmm... That's why I'm trying hard to get him to like me now, isn't it? Really? How? For example, I'm trying to get him to like me from the inside by playing games with him and keeping it a secret that it's me. Right now, he might be avoiding me because of my appearance, but I'll definitely make him like me from the inside someday. It's impossible, because you're an introvert on the inside too, which he doesn't like. Well, let's say that you could attract his attention by playing an online game for Daichi. Something you've never done before, but you can't beat me. 
Where do you get your confidence from? Hmm, of course, because he and I are like-minded. I am in the closest position to him. Do you think you can beat me? You're being so optimistic, but I know he's avoiding you too. What? He's avoiding me? Didn't you know? He once whispers that you're too beautiful, and you make him feel uncomfortable. Uh, it's true that he said that to me before. When I ask him out on a date and he turned me down, I ask why, and he said something like that. You know, you make it sound as if it's all good, but you're not that different from me. <laughs> That's why I'm also trying to get his attention like this. I'm playing the game with him in secret, on the same team, trying to get to know him from the inside. Mm -hmm. I guess we're thinking the same thing. Yes, unfortunately. I have something to tell you. I like him more than you do. I will never give him to you. No, I love him more than you. You don't deserve him. So you should just give up and save yourself the pain. Hmm? I heard an unbelievable story. I lied and I said I was going to the restroom and let them be alone to see what it was going to be like. I knew there was no way they would get along, but I hoped it would be a good opportunity. That's what I thought. However, the truth, the truth was that the two of them were secretly in love with me. What a surprise! One is a gal who is adored by the guys for being cute. The other is a senior who is considered beautiful by the guys. How could they like someone like me? What should I do? Now I have more problems! After returning from the restroom, the two of them suggested we go for a walk around town. Was this an offline gathering? I was too awkward to face them because I remembered what they were talking about earlier. As the organizer of the offline gathering, I have to entertain the two of them. Hmm. Oh, there's a nice relaxing park over there. There don't seem to be many people there. If I could spend some time alone with Daichi at a place like that. <laughs> Okay, let's sneak away before that gloomy girl comes back from her fantasy world. Eh, uh, uh, hey! Huh? Daichi? Where is he? D don't tell me she... <laughs> it's like we're on a date, walking alone together. Huh? Let's take a picture. Huh, hey? Say cheese! <laughs> Your eyes are half open. I'll post it on the social media. Uh, it feels so strange to be alone with a girl. Daichi, there's no time to be waste. Now is our chance to have fun without that gloomy girl. I have to enjoy myself to the fullest. Oh, are we going to run again? After that, Yachio continued to take me to all kinds of places. Look, Daichi, it's an ice cream shop. I heard it can have up to 10 scoops. It's going to look so good. Let's eat it together. What? No, I'm fine. I'm already full from eating at the family restaurant. Excuse me, I'll have this 10 tier ice cream, please. She's not listening to me. 10 scoops of ice cream is so amazing. Let's eat it together, Daichi. Huh? How? You from that side and I from this side. What? I, I can't do that. Why not? Is it because it's something that a couple would do? Uh. <laughs> Your face is all red. Damn. I guess I have to man up and do it. I'll show you what happens when you make an introvert mad. Uh. My tooth hurts. Eh? Are you an idiot? Yes, I'm an idiot. While Yachia was taking me around like that, I was still wondering what to do with the two of them. Hmm... Is something bothering you since a while ago? You can tell me about it if you like. You noticed? Of course, I understand. Because I'm looking at you all the time. Well, then, can I ask you for advice? Sure. This is a story about a friend of a friend of a friend. Isn't that a stranger? I mean, that's definitely a story about you, isn't it? No, not at all. <laughs> well, if you say so. Of course, I can't just tell her what's bothering me. So, I want to make two people get along better, but it seems like 
I'm the reason they don't get along, so I don't know what to do. I tried to tell her in a not-so-clear way. <laughs> I see. That sounds complicated. So, what do you think I should do? I don't think it's necessary to force them to get along. But I want them to get along. You know, there are billions of people living in this world. Among them, it is natural that there are one or two people with whom you do not talk well, or with whom you do not get along. Some of them may be people you can understand if you talk to them, but I think most of them don't understand each other. So, what should we do? Leave them alone. Stay away from them. That's the best way. You think so? Yeah. There are hundreds of millions of people in the world, so it is natural that there are tens of thousands of people among them whom you will never be able to understand. But if you look at it as a whole, you can get along with hundreds of millions of other people. Then, you should get along with them. It is impossible for everyone to get along with everyone else. I see. I guess you have a pretty cold way of thinking, Yachio. Is that so? I think it's pretty normal. No, I just thought of you as one of those party lovers who thinks everyone is your friend. You looked at me like that. Will we change that right now? I changed it. Because I look like this. Sometimes I get approached by idiot guys. Some people I can talk to, some people I can't. That's why I came up with this way of thinking. I didn't realize that. <laughs> I guess I spoke a little too seriously. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. She's probably just trying to be considerate and leave me alone, so that I could be alone and think things over. She is quite considerate. Huh? <laughs> what should I do? Does it mean that Yachio and Sayaka would never be able to get along well? Hmm. I found you. Eh? Sayaka, why are you here? <laughs> I saw a picture posted on that thief's social media. She sounds scary. Oh, I'm sorry. It's an offline gathering, and I left you alone! It's okay. That girl probably took you by force, didn't she? Speaking of which, where is she? If you're talking about Yachio, she's in the ladies' room. I see. This is my chance then, isn't it? What? Come on, let's run away while we still can, Daichi. Again? Huh? Daichi? Where are you? I can smell that gloomy girl! Did she take him away while I was gone? Sayaka brought me to a quiet park that I had just passed by. On a bench in the park, I was lying on her lap. Um, Sayaka, what are we doing? You must be tired, right? Being taken around so much by that girl. Eh? No, well, it was tiring, but... You are like me. You prefer quiet places like this, don't you? I thought I'd start by relaxing you after a long day. So, you're making me sleep on your lap? Yes. Indeed, this is a quiet and relaxing place. However, I was strangely conscious of the fact that I was using Sayaka's lap as a pillow, and in the end, I couldn't settle down. You don't seem to be at ease. Well, uh... Well... Well... Close your eyes slowly. Don't think about anything. Just empty your head and take a deep breath. Y yes The smell of the earth, the sound of the leaves rustling in the breeze. Then you start to calm down, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry. When I took a deep breath, Sayaka smelled so good that I couldn't calm down at all. I'm such a jerk. Sayaka lets me use her lap, and I'm thinking naughty things. By the way, you seem to be worried about something earlier. If you have a problem, I'll listen. Well, Yachio told me that too, but am I that obvious? Yes, you're so obvious. I'll be careful from now on. Besides, I'm always watching you. Yeah. Then I told Sayaka the same thing that I told Yachio. I see. How to get them to get along with each other, right? Yes. If the reason why those two don't get along is a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, then I guess that person will have to do something about it. Do something!
If the cause is the friend of a friend, it's too confusing, so let's just call him A. If the cause is A, the only way is for A to do something about it, right? That's true. Uh, but what can he do? I'm sorry, but without hearing more details, I can't say anything about that. Well, as an older person in your life, I can give you one piece of advice. Don't expect the best results. What do you mean by that? It means, it means exactly what it says. People don't always get the best results. No matter how hard we try, we often fail. Especially when it comes to humans' will and emotions. Things don't always turn out the way you want them to. No matter how much A wants them to get along and take action, there is no guarantee that they will be able to get along. So, you have to find a compromise. A uh, compromise? If everyone's needs can't be met, make a compromise where they can be met to some extent. Not 100%, but 50%. I see. Well, anyway, it all depends on what A does. <laughs> I see. It depends on what I do. Ah! Oh, looks like she found us. Uh, Yachio, how did you find us? I followed your scent! Are you a dog? Anyway, why are you sleeping on her lap? If you wanted to do that, you could have told me instead. Well, he wanted me, right? Oh, really? Well, it's not like that, but... Just give me back Daichi, you gloomy girl! I won't let you have him! Ouch! They're fighting again! The reason is me. Yachio told me to leave them alone, but I couldn't leave them alone. What's more, I now know how they feel about me. I can't just ignore them and let it go on like this. Then, there is only one answer. Stop! Both of you! Daichi? Daichi? I have something to tell you. I told them that I had heard them talking about how much they liked me. I'm sorry, I overheard you. No, no, that's perfectly fine. Is that what you were worried about earlier? Now that you've told us about it, does that mean you've decided what you're going to do about it? Yes, I've decided. I don't want to see the two of you fighting because of me. So, I'm going to make a decision. I won't put it off or delay it. Well, maybe I'm not in the place to choose. But anyway, I'll make the right choice. I'll make my choice tomorrow. Isn't that too soon? I just thought it would be better to do it as soon as possible. You don't have to choose so soon. We need time to get ready, you know? I see. Then when should I give you an answer by? You choose whichever you like best. That's right. We like you and we are trying to make you fall in love with us. I think you should just sit back and take it easy without worrying about us. Are you sure? It's fine. We'd rather not bother you because of us. If you want to be in a relationship with us, you can just answer us when you want to. I understand. Then I will give you an answer tomorrow. I told you that it's too soon! But I like both of you already! What? what? Both of you are too good for me. <sighs> Yachio is always cheerful and bright, and even when we are playing games, she's like a mood maker, brightening up the mood. I'm a dark and gloomy guy, <sighs> so having Yachio around makes me feel like I can lighten up. <sighs> it makes me really happy. Uh, Daichi? Sayaka is on the same side as me, so she understands how I feel. And, I understand how she feels, so I feel at ease when I'm with her. And, she's my senior, so I can count on her when I need her. I really respect her. Daichi? That's why I don't want to see two people. I love fighting. If the cost is on me, if the cost is on me, I'll choose it right away. Especially in about 30 minutes! I told you that it's too soon! I'm not sure I'm ready for this. I'm sure I'm going to hurt one of you by making this choice. Still, I think I need to do something about this. So, I'll make sure to give you a clear answer. It's no good. He can only think about the future. We need to stop him. 
He might choose one or the other right now if he keeps going like this. Yes. Whoa! Wait! What are you doing? After that, I had my mouth covered by them, who still didn't want me to give them an answer. It was something different from what I expected, but since then, the two of them have become a little friendlier. And... To be honest, I'm still afraid of his making a decision. Yes, I'm afraid that if you mention any other names than my own... So, I talked with Sayaka about whether it would be better to keep it as it is for a while. So Daichi, as you wished. Yachiyo and I decided to be friends, so there's no need for you to rush to give us an answer now. Or rather, I don't want you to. I see. If you two say so, I'll give my answer tomorrow. That's too soon. I can wait much longer. Anyway, it seems our relationship is going to last a little while longer. Bonus. Hey, how far have you gotten Bakemon? <laughs> I've finished it already, and I'm on my second round. You don't have to look so proud. <laughs> then how far did you get? I finished it, and I'm trying to level up by doing battles online. Now I'm in S rank. I can totally do that too. That's not something to be proud of. <laughs> then, then how, how far, far did, did you get? get? You look silly when you compete against each other like that, you know? I'm, I'm sorry. As for me, I finished it and then I finished it again. Now I'm an SSS rank online. Mm. 